Greetings, posters. I come to you today about another senseless killing. This occurred February the 23rd, and they just issued an update in regards to the grand jury has now formally indicted the two men that killed Ahmad. Ahmad was a 25-year-old young man that was fatally shot. He was just jogging through the neighborhood when two gunmen pursued Chase on him, and they asked him to stop. He didn't stop. An altercation occurred, and now he's deceased. A 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery is now deceased. In close is a bunch of footage. I hope you enjoy. His death. Police came out to interview Gregory McMichael, who alleged that he saw Arbery running after what he said had been a home burglary. Ahmaud Arbery has only observed running down the road. The worst that he was ever been accused of was looking into a home that was under construction. Strong feelings, downright anger, and not nearly enough answers yet. Tonight in Brunswick, Georgia, a young man, Ahmaud Arbery, shot and killed after two men confronted him in what was reported to be a home burglary in progress back in February. The investigation around the shooting largely quiet but not anymore. Tonight, video of the shooting is shining a new light on this case. Shelby Danielson is dissecting the clip leaked on the internet today, but our team coverage starts tonight with Troy Kless with protesters demanding justice. As we've learned, one of those involved has a deep connection with the Glynn County District Attorney's Office. Who we run with? Ma! Who we run with? Ma! Friends and supporters walking through Satilla Shores, demanding justice for Ahmad Arbery. His aunt, Kimberly Cummings, was one of a few family members in the crowd. Broke me all in the piece already. Because he was one of my favorite members. And they took him away from me. Before Tuesday's March, Hinesville DA Tom Durden announced he will bring this case to a grand jury. Two DAs who previously handled the case recused themselves. The shooter was Travis McMichael. His father, Greg, worked for years in the Brunswick DA's office. The Ware County DA called the shooting justified under self-defense and citizens' arrest laws. Glynn County Sheriff Neil Jump says Tuesday's protest was a peaceful assembly. We asked why he was out there. He said that he needs to let people know that he cares for all citizens. I think Glenn Cannon stand tall, and, and my thoughts and prayers is to the family of the young man that got killed on February 23rd. Uh, and I asked the people to stand and let the justice system take its course. As Arbery's other aunt, Thea Brooks, waits for judicial action to be taken. His life was to jog, stay fit, and play football. He always wanted to be a professional football player. So I would say to them, you're home with your families. Ama is not. And we're not going to sleep until you're behind bars. We were not aware of this young man's death until someone leaked it. Now we know some things, and it has been a lot of protesting going on because the gunman is affiliated with the law. He has some affiliation. Calls came in moments later.
This is so sad. Even our future president, Joe Biden, had comment about it and he was very upset. Guys, we got to protect our kids. We got to protect each other. And the craziest part about it is that no one in the video had face masks on. And this is Georgia. Sorry, that was off topic. There has been a GoFundMe account created for him. Guys, please go and donate. Keep your prayers up. There has been so many young men being killed with this stand your ground law. And I think some changes need to happen. Deuces, guys.